Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, I'm a little bored, so, and, uh, I haven't picked up anything new lately. So, I'm just throwing out a video guy to, uh, entertain you guys. So, I wanted to take a poll on which Retro 11, um, that's came out within the last two years, do you guys think is, is the best? So, um, of course, you guys know the Brads came out, the Gamma Blue, the Columbia, and the Pantones. I'm going to show you guys, uh, of course, the uh, Low Top Retro 11s also. So, I wanted to take a poll and see which ones you guys thought were the best that came out of the last few years. So, firstly, I like them all. Um, I think they all are pretty dope. Um, a lot of people were killing each other over the Gamma Blue and, bre and Breads. I got lucky when the uh, restocks came out for the Breads, so I was able to grab myself two pairs. Um, the Gamma Blue I had to buy off of eBay. Um, but I confirmed that they were authentic because they came with a Nike card and um, the guy showed me the receipt and everything and I double checked everything to make sure that they were authentic of course I pulled out the insole I did all kinds of stuff to research to make sure that they were real but um, It matches up everything looks real But I'm gonna show you a full 360 shoe full 360 of each shoe and I'm gonna like I said I wanted to take a poll and tell you guys tell me which one you think looks the best out of all the uh, retro 11s that came out in the past two years. I'm hoping to get the uh, Space Jams, Cool Grays uh, eventually, but um, I really didn't start collecting the uh, Retro 11s until about two years ago, so I missed out on those. Of course, um, I'm kind of glad I didn't because I'm pretty sure that when they made the Space Jams and the Cool Grays, they put that clear sole on them, and uh, I'm pretty sure even if you had them in like saran wrap or vacuum sealed, the uh, bottom still turned yellow. So I'm kind of glad I didn't get those. So first off, we'll start with the uh, first shoe that came out was the bread. I've got two pairs of these. You can see I wear these a lot. It looks like a stupid. I just stepped in some shit or something. But I have two pairs of these, so I don't really give a fuck. I mean, uh, I bought both of these pairs. Uh, one, I got lucky I won in a raffle. Um, so I went and picked them all up. I actually bought like eight pairs of these and sold them all and kept two. So here's a close up look at the Bread 11. Okay, now you see, I mean, it looks like it's in uh, still pretty good shape because I really don't get to wear that often. Like, it's not even really that creased in the back. Okay, so. Not that I don't get to wear them that often, it's just that I get too many shoes to rotate. And, um, when I go to work, uh, I can wear tennis shoes, but... I don't know, I just don't feel like wearing them that often. I'll wear them when I go to the mall or whatever. But, um, like I said, I got too many shoes to wear. Um, and I, I just, I'm just getting too lazy to go into my closet to grab these and then put them back up. And I'm just being lazy. So here's a close up of the bread. All right. And I, you can see I've worn these too. The Gamma Blue. It's the only pair I got. Okay. Carbon fiber. The jump man lines up. Never really noticed that, but it has some excessive glue marks right there. But no big deal. It looks like you got kind of a scratch mark here, too. But whatever. 
don't wear these too often. Like I said, I haven't really been wearing my Retro 11s too much. But, you know, I just got it as part of my collection. So, of course, the Gamma Blue. Tell me guys what you think. Um, I saw a video about, um, well, I think Bob was saying that, you know, he doesn't really, he doesn't really care for these too much. And, um, last year people were getting to fights inside a finish line for it. So, I mean, I think a lot of people like this shoe a lot. Um, of course, Bow Wow was able to say, uh, you know, whatever the hell he wants because he's rich as shit. And, um, you know, people like us who can't afford to just go buy, go to like an expensive, expensive boutique and just buy the shoe. So, you know, he gets to wear whatever the hell he wants. We, uh, of course, have to fight and try and rob each other just to get the damn shoe, right? So, that's the Gamma Blue. <laughs> I'll show you the order it came in. So, here's the Columbia's. Legend Blue. You see, I still haven't worn these yet because, um, like I told you in my previous review, um, I just don't feel the need to wear new shoes, um, as they release. Like I said, this is pro I'm probably not gonna wear this for maybe another two or three weeks because I bet you everybody at the mall right now is probably wearing this pair. I think I went to the mall yesterday, I saw people wearing it. So, I mean, I'm not hating on any of that. Uh, but, like, you know, I'll get stuff. I got so many shoes. I'll get stuff and I'll just put it away. And I'll wear them when I feel like it. I'm not trying to impress nobody. I just buy the shoes because I love them. Uh, you know, it's a really dope shoe. Um, I never had the Columbia's before. So, it's a really pretty shoe. Um, I just hope they don't get real dirty real fast. Okay, so there's a close-up look of the Columbia's. So pull-wise, you guys tell me which one you think came out out of the last two years as being the best. Okay, so comment in the comment box and you guys tell me which ones uh, you think look the best out of all four that came out in the last two years. And now to go on and show you the uh, lows that came out. It came out in the last two years and you guys tell me which one you guys think are the best out of those so of course we got the uh, reverse concord you guys can see i wore this a lot you can see all the crease marks on it um at first i was like uh i was a little bit ignorant back then so at first i was like oh wow it's all white i think this is the concord but then when I bought it, I realized it was the black upper and white bottom. So it was called the reverse concord. So I was like, uh, oh, well, you know, whatever. So, of course, I got this. And look, you can tell the bottom starting to yellow. I think I bought two pairs of these and I ended up returning one of them. Um, just because, I mean, it's a nice shoe. I like it a lot. Um, I rock these when I don't want to wear high tops because, uh, it's a lot more comfortable to wear the low tops to me. Um, the high tops kind of rub against your ankles all day long and it just it starts to get annoying. So here's a close up view of the uh, reverse Concord. All right, next shoe that came out, what was, what, this one, right? The green snakeskin. Okay, now I could have bought two pairs of these um, I won raffle tickets for both. Um, I wasn't too sold on the green at first. The green snakeskin. And you can see, of course, I wore these. First day I got them, well, first day I wore them, I stepped on some goo, some uh, gum. And I spent fucking like an hour trying to clean that shit off. It was like really fucking annoying. Um, but... Uh, after wearing them for the first time, I realized that it was actually a really dope colorway. And so I actually like this pair a lot. I wish I would have bought the other pair. Um, and I just think it looks really cool. It's really unique. Um, I don't see too many people rocking them. But, um, 
you know, I think it's a really cool, cool design. So uh, I wish I would have got the other pair. Then uh, what came out next? I don't really remember. Was it the infrared? Infrared low 23? Was this what came out next? I don't really remember. I can't remember the order of which they came out in. But I got a pair of this. I could have bought another pair of these too. They still had them at like Shoe Palace. It didn't sell out right away. Um, I don't even know. I don't even remember how I bought these. I think I got them like. Uh, what did I get them? I think I got like maybe like finish line. But you know, it's a it's a clean colorway. It's all black. Um, I don't really like this right here. I think they just should have just kept this all black. Um, of course, clear bottom. This is gonna yell like shit later on. They probably should have made it icy blue on all of them. But, of course, that's a close-up view of the infrared 23 black low tops. And, um, I stopped camping out for shoes after the uh, Great Fives came out because I just couldn't deal with the lines anymore. So, you know, um, I started, uh, just basically ordering online and doing raffle tickets. It put it's a lot of work to put in to get raffle tickets, um, but it's well worth it in the end if you get a call. So um, luckily enough, uh, through the help of my wife, I was able to get a lot of the shoes that I wanted this year. Actually, I pretty much got almost every shoe I wanted this year except for what the Retro Six, the black Retro Six infrared. Um, I pretty much got everything I wanted, everything I wanted. So I mean, if I mean, if you if I show you pictures of my closet, you'll pretty much see that. I pretty much bought whatever the hell I wanted and bought whatever I wanted. So, um, and then last but not least, they got the Concord's low top. Of course, it's not the high top, which I missed out on in 2011. Of course, um, I wasn't going to get shot over a pair of the high tops. And I'm not going to buy a pair of um, high tops online. Because the fakes nowadays are just looking way too real. And of course, the shoe came out in 2011. So, how many people actually have dead stock retro 11s, you know, that they're willing to sell and not, you know, you have to pay like, what, $700 probably for it? So, you know, there's my Concord. I'm just glad to get a pair of the Concord, even though it's a low top. And of course, you see I wore these. They're starting to yellow. I actually got two pairs of these because. Um, I was never ever able to get the, uh, the high top version, so, um, to compensate, I bought two pairs of these. So, those are all four of the low tops. And so, pull-wise, oh, wait a minute, I got, oh, yeah, it's four. So, pull-wise, you guys tell me what you think, uh, which ones out of the last two years do you like the most out of the, uh, high top and low top? Um, personally, I like them all. Um, Retro 11 is, you know, a must-have in anybody's collection. Um, uh, I haven't had a chance to wear the Pantone or the 11. It's been raining out here. And, um, I just bought some gear to kind of match, uh, my shoes. So, I'll probably be sporting it maybe this weekend or... You know, I guess maybe the next weekend. I don't know. Whenever I feel like it. But, um, I hope you guys, uh, enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I want to see polls of, uh, you know, comments of which ones you guys think look the best. Um, and, uh, comment. As, like I said, uh, always, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you guys were all able to grab yourself a pair. Um, if you didn't, then, you know, I'm sorry you missed out. Uh, of course, you know, these shoes sell out quick. And uh, it's really tough to get these shoes. Um, I think maybe I might be getting some LeBron data. Um, coming up within maybe the next week or so. Um... Just because uh, there's really nothing else that's coming out. I mean, uh, that's worth getting unless maybe the what, Columbia 4s are coming out next month. 
but uh, I'm not too excited about that. I got a bunch of 4s. I got the Thunder 4s, I got the Toro, I got the Breads, I got the Fears. Um, I don't even remember what else I got. I got Military Blues. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, um, I just wanted to do a video uh, just to show you guys my uh, 11 collection. Um, like I said, I wanted to see what you guys thought and which one you guys think are the best. I really want the Space Jam and the Cool Gray. And I wonder what they're going to come out with next year. So, um, as always, like I said, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate all the followers. Um, I appreciate all the, the nice comments you guys have been leaving to me. And, um, of course, uh, thank you guys for uh, watching my wife's videos. Um, she's a big sneakerhead like myself. So, um, thank you guys for giving her a thumbs up and uh, complimenting on her on her shoes. I know she really likes it when she sees that. So, thanks again for watching guys. Peace.